God had a plan for his creation. Men and women. And we could learn going all the way back to the first book of the Bible. Very quick. You start reading your Bible. You start to see real quick what God has designed for men and women. It's really, really elementary, really basic. It, it, it can't get much more basic than just, I'm a man, what should I do? I'm a woman, what should I do? What, you know, how did you make me, God? What do you want me to do? Look at Genesis chapter 2, first of all, because we need to, look, what I'm going to say it may not, I mean, I don't know if it's popular with this crowd, it probably will be, but it's not popular with the world. And I know everybody's at a different level in your spiritual growth. But you have to decide for yourself, are you going to let God's word decide what's right and wrong? Or are you going to let this world tell you what's right and wrong? If something I say offends you, you have to ask yourself, is it something that's just my personal opinion that offends you? If that's the case, so be it. Or is it God's word that offends you? My job as a pastor is to read God's word and give the meaning. Otherwise, there'd be no purpose for a pastor. You could all just go home and read the Bible. I'm going to make the application. I'm going to help give the meaning for what the Bible's talking about and apply it to today. And this is timeless. What we're going to read right now is timeless. This goes back to when God first just created man at all. We can read Genesis 1, goes through all the creation of the, the animals and the plants and the sun and the moon and the stars and the earth and the seas and everything else. And then we get man being created. And I want to specifically jump here to verse number 18 in Genesis chapter 2, because, of course, you know, man is formed out of the dust of the earth. God breathes, breathes the breath of life into Adam and makes him a living soul. And after he's created man, he's created all these beasts and stuff, he says in verse 18, And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. Now, it's important to note, though, this, that God created man in his own image. Man is made in the image of God. God made man first. Now, it's not saying that men are better than women because man was made first. That's not what I said. But it's a fact, and it's true, that God made man first and in his image. God is, that's why God, you have God the Father and God the Son, they're, they're, they're male attributes. A father, a son, they're not female, it's not a mother and a daughter. God's image is that that would be of a man. God created man after his own image. But because after he made man, he says, you know what, it's not good that man should just be alone. He says, I will make an help meet for him. Meet just means suitable. And when he creates and help, that means and help. Someone to help him to do his job. God has a job for men. And he says, I want that man to have someone to help him. And one of the things is right off the bat that people get backwards these days. And a lot of wives think that God made the husbands to be a help for them. And that's backwards. It's not what the Bible says. No, ladies, God made you to be a help to your husband, to help him. Now, it's not a sin for husbands to help do things around the house or whatever, but we need to get back to whose jobs are whose. Men's job, and we're going to get into the scripture for this, but men have a responsibility to provide for their household, to pay the way to go off to work. And to support the family. God made men stronger physically, stronger emotionally. He made men and women different. And he designed us for a specific purpose of what we're to do in this life. And for the men, they're supposed to work and provide and love their families. And women were designed as wives to stay home, to rear children, and to, and to obey her husband, and to, to run the household at home. And to be a keeper at home. That's the way that God designed men and women, and to help her husband. 